Hi there, it's Stephanie, and uh, I just wanted to do a quick screener on a useful tool that I found for determining the end location of after a motion path in PowerPoint has completed. So you can see that I have a two slide uh, PowerPoint presentation here. The first slide has three objects on it that when animated move down to the right hand corner. So if I just click play, you'll see that animation. Now the second slide is a slide that has where they were, but I also want to have them appearing where they are at the end of the motion path. And I know that there's different techniques to do this, um, one of them namely working from the end and working, working your way back. So starting from the end position and then animating backward. But I didn't find that, find that very intuitive and it wasn't actually 100% precise. So I did a little research and I found this add-on called Motion Path Tools and it really works well. So let me show you how it works. You go to the slide where the motion paths are, in this case I have three motion paths, and then you just go up to the add-in menu, you choose uh, Motion Path End Position, and then it lists out all the motion paths that are on the slide. So these three are the three that I want to work with. I click OK, and just like that, it presents a duplicate of the objects and it shows them in their final position. Now these are objects right up on the screen so you can grab these objects, cut them off that slide, go to the second slide and then paste them in to where their end position is. So if we were to take a look at the slideshow, you can see that the first slide is called Shapes in Motion. When I click I see the animated um, motion path and then the second slide is called shapes after motion and you see that it was completely seamless there wasn't any jitter or movement between the two slides so I thought maybe um, some of you out there might find that a useful add-in so if, uh, let me just show you where I found it uh, if I go to about motion paths you can see that the author's name is Sham I can't quite read that uh, last name and then here's the website address where the tool is now this was designed for earlier versions of PowerPoint but it works well in 2007 it's not buggy at all and it was mentioned on quite a few forums including a couple of Microsoft forums so I think it's really quite widely used and it's free so hopefully you'll find that helpful thanks